Hello! In keeping with our theme of easy, effortless voicing, I'm going to run you through a quick five minute or less, knock on wood, <laughs> voice warm up that you can do every morning. Just like a runner would stretch and kind of start out slow before they ran a marathon, you have to do the same thing with your voice. So we're going to start with a little bit of stretching, move into some voice work, and then start to expand the range that you're using through um, some pitch movement. So grab a seat if you don't have one, get comfortable. And the first thing you're gonna do is take your right hand, place it over your left collarbone. You're gonna place your hand over your collarbone, take your opposite hand, layer it on top. You're gonna put, with your head slightly forward and your chin tucked down, you're gonna put a little bit of pressure in towards your collarbone, just a slightly, and then you're gonna do a slight drag down. Once you have that skin and that muscle kind of pinned in, you're gonna take your head at an angle but not straight back at an angle going back with your mouth open like this. And then you're gonna quickly close your mouth, hold it for two seconds, one, two, and then release. We're gonna do this five times. So watch again if you need to, or join in if you're ready. So hands over the collarbone, head goes down, a slight press with my hands, head back, mouth open, close the mouth, one, two. Do three more of those. Head back, mouth open, Close, one, two. You got two more. One, two. Last one. One, two. As you close your mouth, you should feel a bit of a pull under your hand, like it's your muscles are trying to pull away from your hand and you should feel a nice stretch on this exposed side of your neck. Great, same thing, opposite side. I'm getting red already. All right, hand on collarbone, other one on top. Down, back with mouth open. Close, one, two. Again. Close, one, two. Number three. You might notice, close, one, two. One side is tighter than the other. It's really common. One, two. Go to the last one. Close, one, two. All right, next we're gonna go straight back. So you're gonna take both of your hands and layer them one over the other right here at the bottom of your neck. We don't wanna hit our actual neck or our trachea. You wanna be right at the top of your collarbones. So both hands here, head slightly forward. Nice press in, head goes back. Close mouth, one, two. Let's do four more. One, two. One, two. One, two. Good, last one. One, two. Woo, shake that off. All right, that's the um, stretch part of it. Now we're gonna move into some voicing. So the sound that you're gonna use for the voicing part of it is going to be a lip trill. Um, if you if you have difficulty with those, stick around for the end and I'll teach you how to troubleshoot how to do a lip trill. But for now, we're just gonna hold out a lip trill at a comfortable pitch, something that's nice and easy for you, right in your speaking range for about eh, 10, 15 seconds, however long you can do it. So we're gonna do it three times total. So it'll sound something like this. <laughs> Hold it out as long as you can. We're gonna do three, so that was one. Good, last one. So we're gonna continue using the lip trail, but this time we're gonna play around with some pitch movement as well. Give a nice stretch and also um, some smooth warm ups. So the first set that we're gonna do, we're gonna go up in pitch. So start pretty neutral, pretty close to your speaking range. You're gonna do, I'm gonna show you first. So you're gonna do five sets of four. It'll sound like this. <laughs> Good. 
Now the next time you're gonna go a tiny bit higher. A little bit higher next time. Next one. Last one. Great, so we're gonna do the same exact thing, this time going down. Even if you're trying to raise or brighten or darken your voice, you always wanna cross train. So it doesn't matter what you're shooting for, do both up and down. All right, let's go down. Last one. All right, really quick. If you have difficulty lip trilling, this is for you. If not, skip forward like 30 seconds. If it's hard for you to lip trill, remember three key things. One, lower air pressure. Don't try to push really hard. Two, nice and relaxed lips. Don't push them together at all. Close your lips as gently as you can and then start exhaling to get some movement. Number three, if all else fails, take your hands, place them next to your cheeks, next to your mouth on your cheeks, and a slight pressure in. This is to stop that air from getting into the cheeks, because often when you try to lip trail, you'll end up doing this. All your lips go, or kind of sputtering out. So hands next to the mouth to help direct that air where we want it to go, right to the lips. Wonderful. So. If this was useful for you and you wanna dive a little bit deeper, that's what we do in the Undead Voice Lab. There's a link in the description to get on the wait list. Enrollment's opening again this fall, and I hope you have a lovely Friday. Oh, do these every morning. It helps with morning voice.